Hi, my name is Noah Straley, and I'm a training specialist with the Center for Teaching and Learning. I am one of the many people that sees the suggestions for new Blackboard features that are left by faculty and staff and students alike here in this module called Suggestions for New Blackboard Features. Lately, we've been getting a lot of suggestions from students about wanting to receive emails when one of their Blackboard courses is updated with a new announcement or assignment. And fortunately, that feature already exists. So in today's video, I'm going to show you how to activate that. Okay, so you'll notice I'm already logged into a Blackboard account here. I'm at the portal page or home page. And I'm going to go up here to the notifications dashboard and click on that. Now the first thing that you'll see in the notifications dashboard is a collection of boxes that you can expand, collapse. Each of these boxes is called a module. Um, one of the things I want to bring to your attention right off the bat is that you can add modules by clicking on the Add Module button and scrolling through and you'll notice um, that each of these modules has a title, a description, and an Add button. So you can um, put more of these modules in your Notifications Dashboard if you would like to. Let's go back to the Notifications Dashboard by clicking on Notifications Dashboard up here in the upper left. Uh, then what I will do is I will go to the Edit Notifications Settings button. Each of these modules has this button and, and they all lead to the same Edit Notifications Settings interface. So let's go ahead and click on that. Alright, so under Bulk Edit Notification Settings, I'm going to go here to Courses I am taking and click on that. This will bring up this interface. Um, what I'll do is I can select one of the courses I'm taking or I can select all of the courses I'm taking by clicking the Select All button here. I'll scroll over these two arrows. You'll notice one of them says Move to List of Selected Items. This is what I want. I'll click that. Then I'll scroll down and under Settings here, under Number 3, I'll see that I have a bunch of settings that I can configure. By default, all of these settings will display in my dashboard. Not by default, I can receive an email that one of these things has changed. So in other words, if I want to know if a new announcement has been made available and I want to receive an email about that, I can just click it to activate it. Okay? It's that easy. Now you'll notice that there's a mobile button here in the, uh, in the far right. This is an add-on that Blackboard charges extra for and UT does not have a license to use it so we actually don't have the infrastructure. You can click and make things available for your mobile phone if you would like but they don't work so I don't recommend doing that. Once I have all of the things that I would like to receive emails about, for instance assignment past due, assignment due, assignment available, announcement available, I can scroll through and there are a number of other items that I can select to be activated and notify me via email. Once I have all of the things selected that I would like to receive emails about, I'm just going to go ahead and click the Submit button. I should see the settings have been saved and the green bar of success. And then what I'll do is I'll click on the My Blackboard tab up here in the upper left, which will take me back to the Notifications dashboard. Once back here, if I want to go back to my home page, I just click on My Blackboard and I'm back at the home page. Okay, if you follow the steps in this tutorial and you still are not seeing any email notifications, it might very well be because you have a personal email account listed as your primary account in UT Direct. And what is happening here is that your Gmail or Yahoo account is receiving these Blackboard notifications and putting them in your spam folder. So a quick way to remedy this is to utilize your UT email account and designate that as your primary account. This will also keep spam and unwanted emails from other students out of your personal email account. It'll funnel all of that into your UT email account and your UT email account will also file all those Blackboard emails in your inbox instead of putting them in the spam folder. And that is basically how you set up your notifications dashboard. Please keep your suggestions coming. Um, there are people who do read it and are listening and have a great semester.